So, ozone, right? Awesome. Let me see this button. It makes sure if you're ever writing this on the test, you always, if you have steps, you make sure right, step one, step two, because you will lose points if you don't. I don't like to lose points. I lost points today. <laughs> so ozone, you don't need to know the mechanism, you just need to say it breaks in half and then just put oxygens on both halves. So that would be what your product looks like. Like I, I remember doing this one in the book, and I, like sometimes you just form like cyclic stuff, though. That's what got me. Well, oh, that's that's the step one part of it that she didn't go over. Oh, that's, that's why I was staring at like, like that. I'll see uh, all three O's would be around that alkene part. Gross. Mm -hmm. The alkene part would break apart and connect all three oxygen somehow, and then chop it. Science. Blows your mind. So what happens though if I don't add a zinc? It doesn't complete the process. No, it does, but so notice when I did add zinc, I had a hydrogen here, this became an aldehyde. If I don't add zinc, any hydrogen attach, attached to a carbon that's on the double bond becomes a carboxylic acid. Oh, really? Huh. If you don't add zinc. But notice how this one, because there are carbons attached to it, it's di-substituted, it doesn't affect it. Okay. So it doesn't matter if you add zinc. If you don't add zinc though, but if you have a hydrogen, it affects it. So if I had this structure, where I have two hydrogens there, both of them become OHs. You know, if I had one here, that would have an OH right there. But if I did add zinc, then they're all just hydrogens. So. So does that? So does it for every single one of them? If, all if there's a hydrogen, them, yeah. If all four of them were hydrogen, it'd make four hydroxides. Yeah. If I don't add zinc, then these all become OHs That's there. Crazy. And what's that called? Hmm. It's got two OHs instead of just. That's one. formic acid. Mm -hmm. If it's if they're just both hydrogens, this is called formaldehyde. Okay. BTW. Oh. Oh. You don't really need to. Because they're an aldehyde on. It's an aldehyde. Look at double aldehyde. 